Hi there guys, Chris Rosewood here with a very short, brief video, but it is important, so stick with me before you leave. Now, there's a lot of copyright issues going on on YouTube, whether it be content ID, uh, copyright strikes, etc. On this part, I'm actually going to be talking about copyright strikes, because this is the most important one. Very recently, there's been a channel by the name of Chad Wild Clay, and these guys are doing some really cool, really funny stuff. I like what they do. However, the only problem is, is that they have people who are from big corporations and record companies and such saying that they are using copyrighted material illegally, which they aren't. They are, using, they are creating parodies. Parodies are legal by fair use. Some of you may need to know what a copyright is. Most of you may already know, but if you don't, there's a video right here done by CGP Grey, who does a very, very good job of explaining what a copyright is and what some of the problems can be with it. There's also fair use. Fair use is different. Fair use by law states that you could use copyrighted material without permission of the owner to be able to comment upon or remix, such as parodies. And that is what Clay Wild Clay has been doing, but they have been getting copyright strikes because the record companies don't like you making money off of our copyrighted material. Problem is, they can do that. Weird Al's been doing it for years. And everybody like, well, okay, not everybody likes Weird Al, but lots of people like Weird Al. And the point I'm trying to make is that YouTube has it set up where basically YouTubers are already being considered criminals. Instead of the innocent until proven guilty, it's backwards. We are guilty until proven innocent. If someone doesn't like your video or doesn't like the fact that you use copyrighted material without their permission, all they have to do is fill out a form on the website and then bam, your video's taken down, you get a copyright strike. How fair is that? Take I Hate Everything, for example. He was doing a series called The Search for the Worst, and he started talking about Cool Cat Saves the Kids, which is a very weird movie. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I've seen enough that I Hate Everything is done, and he got some very good points. The owner of the video, uh, the original video of uh, Cool Cat Saves the Kids, Derek Savage, decided, I don't like what you said about it, and you're a punk for doing so. And he actually said that, by the way. You can look that up. But he was a punk for doing what he was doing and said, you know what, I don't like what you're saying about my video and you're using copyrighted material, which is mine, and you can't do that. But technically, he can. So what did Derek Savage do? All he did was fill out a couple of things and then boom! Bye-bye video. Which isn't fair for I Hate Everything because not only was he making money off of that video, and of course it's not just about the money, but he was also just doing what he does. Telling his opinion. And after all, if we have the right to free speech, this is infringing, uh, infringing upon that, right? Derek Savage basically used the abuse system to take down that video. But it's not just I hate everything. It was also H3H3 Studios. Uh, Chad Wild Clay is another one that's being used. Creeps McPasta also had some issues with him because he was using stock footage that he bought from a website, but some other people from other companies were saying, this is ours and tried to take the monetization from it, and in some even tried to take the video down. That's not legal either. But all these people are abusing it because everybody's either getting greedy or they just don't like what you have to say about their stuff and they want you to shush, shush, shush. And we just won't talk about that, right? No, can't do that. The thing about YouTube is that YouTube is supposed to be a place where we can get together and talk as a community, as well as just entertainers, comedians, gamers, whatever you are, this place is a community where we're all supposed to be able to get together, work together, and help whenever something like this happens. And even though I'm a small channel, I mean, I'm only 65 subscribers, and I've only been doing this for less than a year now. I have not actually done a whole lot for my channel. However, all these people have worked on this for years, and most of these people do this for a living. If they lost this income, they've lost their job. So it's important that we need to look at this abuse system through the copyright strikes and everything because we're not given enough time to appeal to it. You get a copyright strike almost immediately without saying, um, excuse me, this is fair use. Somebody else is just trying to go against me. And the sad part is, is that if you try to appeal against the copyright strike, the copyright owner still has 30 days to talk to, uh, to respond to you before it is annulled. And even if they do respond to you, they could just reinstate the copyright strike even if it's not even if it's not copyrighted and fair use. How many days do us as YouTubers have? Zero. Immediately we would get the copyright strike without any notice. It's just, hey, you have a copyright strike. Careful of that. Once you get three, channel's gone. 
So what do we do about that? Well, for one, we speak up, like this. We tell YouTube that there's this issue and people are abusing it. And that's where all of this comes into play. Luckily for me, I've not had any of this happen. The closest thing I had had was with Content ID. Content ID is an algorithm that YouTube has that looks for similarities, whether it be for visuals or audio. And if it finds something that is considered copyright material, then it automatically changes the monetization around. For me, when I was making a, by the way, this is a unlisted video, I made a video starting my testing connection series. I made it for a very select few people to look at and say, hey, this is something I'm working on, what do you think? However, Content ID picked up on it and said, hey, you're using copyrighted material because of a radio tuning sound effect I used, which wasn't copyrighted material. It's free material that I have picked up off the internet and used. However, it matched the beginning of a song from, I think, Germany? And YouTube said, hey, you can't use this because uh, this is somebody else's, so any monetization you would have made on this video goes to this record company. Which, by the way, it wasn't even a monetized video, for one. And number two, it was unlisted, and only very few select people saw it. See how that can be abused as well? So the point I'm trying to make is there's a lot of issues here, and with a lot of different channels, and we're seeing not only small channels, but big channels being affected by it. So instead of sitting idly by and just saying, oh, well, this will get corrected eventually, we need to stand up and actually say something about it. And a lot of you have. And if you have, bravo. Thank you so much. You gotta remember that YouTube is a community of other people. We need to get together to help each other out whenever something like this happens. I know we may not agree on some things and we may actually banter back and forth or we may even have YouTube drama or internet drama or whatever it is, but you gotta remember we're all in this together. We're all in this as YouTubers trying to make this better. So if you're a YouTube creator and you want to speak out about this, it doesn't matter if you have one subscriber, 3,000, 5 million, whatever. Speak out about it. Do it. Go for it. I don't care if this, if the video is crappy looking or whatever. I'm shooting this in 720p on my iPhone. Big deal. Do it. Secondly, if you're a viewer and you're watching this and you want to speak out about it, do it. Find a way to do so. Whether it be make your own channel and start making some videos about it, uh, or find other means to contact YouTube, tweet to YouTube, whatever. Let people know that this is a problem and it needs to get fixed sooner rather than later. And I know there's a lot of legal decisions that YouTube has to do on their side too, because right now YouTube's kind of caught in the middle, but at the same time, they need to do something about it. And there's only so much that we could do as YouTubers. But all we can do is speak out. Now, I'm sure I could go on and on about this, but I'm gonna leave this one alone now. Uh, I'm probably not even gonna edit much of this video just because I'm feeling rather lazy, but <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at this for now because there's only so much I can say about it. And a lot of the times I don't know the whole story and I'm just going off of based of what I've seen, that I have seen. However, it's still an important fact that we need to embrace fair use. If it wasn't for fair use, a lot of the stuff that we have today on YouTube would not exist. So we really need to fight for this. And if you guys are watching this and you share this around, I don't even care if you share this video around, you make your own video about it and you share that around. I don't care. As long as it gets talked about, go for it. Anyway, you guys are awesome. Anyone who's speaking out about this, you guys are already fighting the good fight. And let's get this done and settled before any other good channels start falling apart and people are banned. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Feel free to make another video and share this out or share this video around. It doesn't matter, but it's very important that fair use stays fair use and it doesn't get caught in this whole red tape of copyright because copyright is important. It is a good thing, but if it's abused, it's not. So thank you for listening. And as always, guys, stay awesome.